In this video, we're going to be going over keyframing and learning how to get rid of the anticipation when going from point A to point B. I ran into an obstacle where when you would do your keyframe, there was this anticipation, and I hated this. It drove me absolutely bonkers because I wanted to go from point A to point B without having the anticipation off screen. I just wanted to go completely. Now, can you tell? No, but I'm a perfectionist. And if you wanted to just go from point A to point B in an animation, you would know how to do that. So if you go down here to your keyframe and you hold on to it and you see it says expand and scale and move, it's going to bring up the X axis, the Y axis, and the forward and backwards and etc. right? In any sort of math class, there was always a graph, right? And you had your X and your Y. In this instance, this X axis here is referring to the horizontal change. So if you're going this way, or that way. The y-axis is going up and down. So if you wanted to have, in this case, my tree go from point A to point B, you're going to go ahead and you're going to hold down like you would with the keyframe, hold it down. It says set easing, right? So there's different types. There's ease in, ease out separately, but there's also linear. You see how straight linear is? I'm going to go ahead and hit tap linear because I'm going horizontally. I'm not going to be using the Y axis up and down. I'm going to be using the X axis back and forth. In this, there is no anticipation. There's no speed up. There's no speed down. Evenly spaced. You can change this again by doing the same thing. Ease in, ease out, right? So if you're easing out, it starts it starts as linear and then eases out and back and forth. I thought that was a pretty cool move. Next thing I wanted to talk about was fill duration. So when I wanted to put a background in here and I had just drawn one image on one frame, but I wanted to fill the others, I found myself dragging and dragging, moving, dragging. It's annoying. There's a better way of doing this. If you go ahead and hold it down like you would with the keyframe, there's this fill duration. That fill duration fills it all the way to the end of your set time that you want. So if it's 30 seconds, it'll fill all the way to 30 seconds. If it's 10 seconds, it'll fill all the way that way. That way. Same deal with the grouping, right? If you have a tree underneath here and you're only part way here, you hold it down, you say fill duration. It's gonna fill to the end of that group. This is amazing because I hated sitting there, especially when it's a background image. Say I wanted a white background for that whole 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and add a track. Right? I'm going to come in here in that track. I'm going to say, I want to fill this backdrop with the color brown. I'm going to drag it in there. That only fills one frame. And then you have to sit there for the entire 30 seconds and drag it along. It's, I'm even having tr trouble with it now. Dragging and dragging. You know, at, at 24 frames per second, that's a lot of dragging. Hit fill duration, fills to the end of the 30 seconds. And you just saved yourself about 15 minutes of headache. As always, if you like the content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time.